On this edition of NSFW Show, we recap South by So Wasted 2. Who won between me and the Ad Dragon? That will be learned as well as our next great caper. Ladies and gentlemen, we begin the hoax that ends the world on this episode of NSFW Show. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 169, recorded on March 12th, 2013. Pretend I'm not beer. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Pond5, the world stock media marketplace. If you're a media maker looking for videos, photos, illustrations, music, sound effects, after effects, templates, or 3D models, check out Pond5. And for an exclusive 50 free stock media files, go to pond5.com slash NSFW. They bother with the rest of that video because it's just the, the best cry ever that makes it. All right, beautiful people, it is go time for NSFW. That's right, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the web, and it's, you know, that show, the one that's nominally safe for work. Howdy, party people. My name is Brian Brushwood, joined as always by the inimitable co host. He was born from a thousand dragons and denied them all, which is why he's homeless on the streets. It's just Robert Young. What's going on, my man? Uh, Fry, I'll tell you what, huge weekend. Thank you to everybody for coming out to South by So Wasted. And I, I would consider this, Brian, this is a, a, a episode where we take all the momentum we have, we celebrate what happened in Austin, and then we get right on to the next big event. So we have for you the beginnings of white, what might be uh, did you, say, did you say what white element B? of our careers? Did you say what white B? Did, did was that was that like a white Russian slip up? Why is it gotta be white? <laughs> All right, so look, racism aside, uh, dude, this was an amazing, amazing weekend. Uh, we we did uh, South by Soul Wasted, our, our second event. Uh, the folks at the Eastern were fantastic. We had a huge turnout. Big thanks to everyone who came out and participated. Uh, Black Panda, uh, Demon 5, Vincent 404. None of these are real names. Gatorwag. <laughs> I, I only know everybody by their fake made-up names, but it was awesome and weird to meet everybody in pre- Marvin Skeletons, uh, what, Bronco? Fan Bronco Overlord. Oh, Captain Captain uh, Bronco. Captain Bronco. Yeah, uh, was there. Yeah, I mean, listen, it was an insane turnout. Dual Core uh, came and and met us there. Of course, we had Ali Spagnola and the Possum Posse, both of whom killed it. And thank you to all of the boys from Spill who came out and had a, a great time. And we'll get to that uh, in, in in actually you no, we'll get to that now. We will tease after the ad break uh, that we will have we'll. Unveil Project the Bottle It, something that is months in the making that is now ready for chat realm. Yeah, so, okay, so we we had a bunch of the Spill folks turn up. We had uh, Martin Thomas, who, of course, plays uh, Leon. We had uh, uh, Chris Cox, who plays Cyrus from Spill. We had uh, Jason Murphy of the fantastic Loading Bar podcast that they do. Uh, all of them, super good sports. We split into two teams, and we proceeded to play the brand new game from Go Game, uh, which was what, Justin? So the game is is still in beta, really, and it's called uh, Scenario. And what it is, is you get, uh, each team gets an iPad, and they get clips from a movie. You watch the clip, and then you have to recreate it while working in various props. In the second round, you have the same clip, but now you have a, a challenge. You have to either make it a musical or a Western, or sometimes uh, you have to overdub, like, kung fu uh, words into people's mouths. Uh, that is the idea, and it, it I'll tell you what, there were some really funny videos that came out. You'll be able to find all of them 
on the BBPedia. All right, I'll tell you what. Uh, you know what? Uh, your friend of mine, Gatorwag, uh, put together this fantastic little. Uh, I'm gonna try to load this one up here. I had the other one. So are we gonna are we gonna play the the go game first? Yeah, hold on one second. This is this is the over overview. I can't stop it. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Pause. Go back over here. Oh, let me just try. I'm gonna try double clicking this again. So there we go. So here we go. This is some of the highlights of this experience. Here's Justin. I'm going to play 61 minute songs and you all get to take a shot of beer every time the song plays. We can break this down like a music video. Brand new game. The light switch has never been played on this scale. First one. And then you guys go, eesh. Team one, team two, team one, team two. So, okay, so we we all get our... Unfortunately, you just had... There's no pause on this, so I just had to kill it. Uh, you... Uh, all right, there we go. So, so we got our teams, uh, and we found out what movies we got. Uh, our team got The Big Lebowski, yeah. which was, like, amazing. And, uh, and the other team got Zoolander, which I was so glad because I... Can I confess something? I still have never seen Zoolander. If we had gotten Zoolander, would have been totally screwed. Well, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, but that's part of that, that's part of it. Is I think uh, you know you, you're going by the the, the clip there, and uh, the the scene specifically that you guys got where you had the Big Lebowski, uh, the the first Walter freak out where he's screaming Over at the line. Uh, Mark it eight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and meanwhile they got the uh, orange mocha frappuccino. Uh, wake me up before you go go scene that ends in the gas fight. Yeah, see, I didn't. I would never even known what that was. But but uh, but since uh, Brant was following with us, he was able to capture our side of things. Check this out. Yes. All right. Yes. Walter, so check. You guys are dead in the water. Way to go, Donnie. State of Israel. If you will it, dude. No okay, can we just take a moment to soak in Jason Murphy's uncanny Walter Sobchak? It really is shocking. Like, it is, <laughs> like, body double good. Like, there's, like, a moment where he's walking, and it's not even just the voice or the fact that, like, he has a vague John Goodman-esque kind of look to him. Not to say that he's as heavy as John Goodman, sure. but, like, he has a bit of a John Goodman kind of vibe to him. Yeah. But also, he just walks like him. Like, he inhabits the form of John Goodman. <laughs> uh, you know what? These random other videos... Yeah, what that is was, that? Yeah. By the way, for anybody watching, I don't, I can't get rid of them because this new sky. I guess I could try to click there. I killed them. They're gone. But I kind of dug that effect. That was kind of cool. All right, here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Take care of our Jedi masters. Fucking zero. Mexican. We are going to do an applause meter style. So your enthusiasm will count. Marco, play the clip. Did you guys stop it already? I mean, there's more to life than just being really, really, really ridiculous. I'll tell you what, man. Freaking uh, Chris. Chris did not phone it in, man. Cyrus delivered a thousand percent on this oh, game. Oh, jeez. No, no, number one. They, and, and I don't want to spoil the end here if we, if we have it, but we there do. was 110% from Team Spill. It was Team Spill versus Team NSMW, and they left nothing on the field here, people. There was, they went all out. It, there was one moment when it was just suddenly all over. Really? Really? <laughs> I thought I, I rather enjoyed our substitution of nunchucks for for the gun on this scene. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, everybody gets props to try to fill everything in. You guys had the gun, but instead went with the nunchucks because you didn't have the better gun substitute. And I'll tell you what, my favorite part, if you watch the full clip, which again is available on BBpedia, this is a very BBpedia heavy plug episode. Uh, you will see the wandering beard of Jason as <laughs> as he just is so John Goodman that like the beard can't handle how John Goodman he, he is. just keeps falling and he just off. Starts flying all over the place and then reappearing when it comes back to him at different points on his face is pretty amazing. <laughs> Twenty five points for the big Lebowski. 
Cubs game. So, this is Team MSFW with Snare Pinkalowski clip that you just watched as a Western. It's called Over the Border. Can you feel the racism brewing? Jedi. Out. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this justice, and I'm gonna actually play over the border out of this montage. Here All right, so this is the full and complete actual clip of Over the Border, a Mex or sorry, a, a Western reinterpretation of that scene from the Big Lebowski. Right, here we go. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, let me back that up. Here we go. <laughs> Shooting rocks tonight, boys. Y'all's dead in the motherfucking water. <laughs> Way to go, Donnie. If you will it, it is no dream. <laughs> Hang on, partner. You're 20 minutes late. What the f is that? Wyatt Earp. <laughs> I ain't talking about the cowboy. I'm talking about what you finna got in that cart. It's a mother f***ing Jedi. <laughs> mother f***ing Jedi do a suit off. I ain't renting at Spurs. I ain't buying it a f***ing beer. And I ain't taking your shot. I don't know why the hell is he here? Because he's a Jedi. He stresses out, preps his pants. Sucks to bring him if you don't take care of him. <laughs> Back to get. This is not Juarez, Paco. They're lost here. Am I the only one around here who remembers the Alamo? Remember the Alamo! Remember the Alamo! Ambiguous ending that I didn't quite understand. As as our our luchador Smokey throws a stuffed animal into the crotch of our uh, angry racist <laughs> Walter Sobchak <laughs> and just runs away. That's a little touch we like to call. We ran out of time, and it was funny enough because if you look, it just you have the tension, <laughs> and then boom, right in the upper dingle. <laughs> Good enough as far as I'm concerned. I'll tell you what, by the time we put this together, and I got to give huge props to Zach, to Zach for being the one who took over the direction and the editing and getting everything uh, run through there. It was amazing. Everybody self-organized and brought it all together. At this point, thought it was a total lock. Thought for sure. There's no way we're not going to win with our awesome, slightly racially tinged Western. Uh, I would describe it as slightly racially tinged. Oh, All right, here we go. go, go no, you got to go back to the beginning. Uh, with, oh, oh, never mind. Never yeah, mind. we don't have it in here. It, it's not in there. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that club is your favorite, Vic. We're not going to, I guess we won't show the scene, but, you know, Team Spill pretty much won it by making a musical called Blow Your Own Way. And it's you can imagine. Blow Your Own Way. And again, you can find it on the BBpedia. <laughs> Folks, go ahead on to your Google and search BBpedia and you'll find where to get the links. I hope to God that Pete Delhenti is putting up a page right now on the front page so everybody can see all these clips. But it's called Blow Your Own Way. And... If I were to artfully never... describe the initial shot, it was as if um, okay, well, somebody gonna... was praying <laughs> uh, okay. somebody, very somebody... close to where somebody else was sitting. On like a bus bench. And then bench. they both looked up surprised. Yes. And then uh, and then an angel said that it's okay. You can blow your own way. <laughs> a weird moment because like like they so clearly had dominated us and cl so clearly earned it and it's like i didn't even clap for ours i was like i'm clapping for spill because they owned this like nobody else and when you said sfw i was like you son of a bitch you're not you you yeah. are not doing this no 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 yeah that was that was what we, we like to call in the business a little fake out
He's very clever, sir. Then we got into the uh, the concert part of the evening. Well, there we go. And I, I must say that one of the the the, the biggest surprises here of the uh, of the entire time was Petey Rave, who not only had uh, uh, just awesome energy and everything that we did. He was uh, your uh, dude, but also uh, brought the championship belt and uh, had to turn it over. Yeah, dude, that was awesome. Here we go. Take a listen to the Boss Posse. Sounds like number one that he can't delay his mama corner for it. It's bigger than his. It's true. It's GMO season. Ready for the sun. Ready for the silver board. I'm not off the honey. It's supposed to be a choice. I thought it was a good money. She was a good doctor. I like gold. It's a money. She walked around like a black man. I thought it was a good money. It's a choice. I thought it was a good money. It's a choice. It's a choice. Anyway, it was an amazing, amazing night, dude. And uh, sincerely, thanks again to everybody who came on out, everybody who participated. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, yeah, I could not have imagined it to be a better experience. And as we have teased for weeks, Brian, there was a climactic showdown at South by So Wasted. Oh, man, do you want to tell that story? This is uh, uh, this <laughs> this is. Uh, all right, we have to have a final once and for all ad read face off between Just Robert Young and the ad dragon. First up will be Just Robert Young. Here's what we're going to do I've got in my pocket a bunch of cards against humanity cards. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you hear Patrick Delante just then shout too soon? <laughs> no. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> I love that person. Uh, all right, so, so the exact sentence you need to complete is... All right, so I'm going to do an ad read where the first card will be the product. Yep. The second card will be the price you pay for the product. Yep. And the third card is the competition that you are better than. Right. And, uh, and uh, of course, Justin will go first, then Ad Dragon, if he's even here. I he's here. He's in the back, everybody. Right. Take a look at that asshole. Right. All right. These randomly selected cards against humanity. So the first one is... Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, the first, the first point is uh, the product. The product. The yeah. product, according to these cards, is <laughs> the Jews. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Justin Robert Young here to tell you about the Jews. Not only are the Jews the only race that controls all the money in the media, <laughs> but also they are here for you. In fact, all you have to do is pay... This is the price one, right? The price is only... The card is... Glory holes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it couldn't be easier. You go on down to the glory hole, you suck on what... Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I keep playing this, Justin? Justin left. That's how, that's how distressed everything is. I, I don't know what's in here. Wait, I should be looking at Brant. Brant, can I continue to play this? He doesn't remember it being too bad. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is Justin Robert Young telling you about the Jews. And I'll tell you what, Brian, they're way better than... God damn it. Um, the next card is Lance Armstrong's missing testicle. <laughs> He's a fallen hero, unlike the Jews, who provide us with so much. Ladies and gentlemen, that's me, old trustworthy Justin All Robert right. Young, telling you about the Jews. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Robert Young's ad read. All right, now that uh, okay, so seriously, the, those you just grabbed random cards for all that, and and we just ran with everything, and you just had to make excuses for everything. Yeah, I mean that was that was the challenge here, and, and ladies and gentlemen, yeah, it was a little bit. Uh, uh, you know, we, the the goal of the ad read challenge is not to give you a plain ad read. No, no, you you have to you have to dress up whatever you get right. as as best as possible. Right. Okay. And all right. So then the response from the ad dragon. No, but I'll do my best now, y'all. Hey, it's the ad dragon here with another hot deal coming into the station. This one's about dead parents. <laughs> We all have parents once. Sometimes they die, like in World War II. That was
was valiant, y'all. Now, uh, now, I'll tell you what. You can get a dead baron if only you pay this price. The second card oh. is Mecha Hitler. <laughs> oh. You need to make Mecha Hitler pay the ultimate price. <laughs> because that's the only way you're going to get your dead baron. Brian? Yeah, wait, is something wrong? Uh, listen, I, I know I had a good time with y'all up here in, the, in this show, but I don't know if I can be talking about Mecca Hitler or... Uh, I, 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 I'll try to soldier through. Hold on now. I, I mean, what, 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 is, what, yeah, what, what is, what is the, the competition? The competition, according to these randomly selected cards, are the Boy Scouts of America. <laughs> Well now, Brian, that's a line I cannot cross. They have refused to let dragons in to troops for years. And that is a company I cannot endorse for. Brian, I am resigning my post on the NSFW. Listen, I know this is an emotional moment for you, Dragon, so I'm going to let you say some parting words. Here, I'm going to hand you the mic. Brian, you can look for me. I'll be everywhere. Wherever you look. Wherever there's a top end subscription side hosting service. Now with built-in shopping cart functionality. I'll be there. I'll be in the joke in an ad read that you really think that that's really bad and regret saying. I'll be there. I'll be in the jokes you have to apologize for, but aren't really sorry for, but you have to apologize anyway to get your show on the air. And then you come up with a ridiculous bit to cover for it, even though you really don't want to apologize at all. Look for me, Bri. I'll be there too. Woo woo! Hey y'all, last time you see with the station. Yeah, wow, just like right, that, man. Go, that was uh, that was an, what an amazing, what a surprising end to the Ad Dragon saga. Absolutely, Brian. And with that, and with all the respect to the Ad Dragon, I, I'll tell you what. In in combat, I have a new respect for him, Brian. I would like to tell you about Pond Five. Oh, wait, wait. It sounds like sounds like we're gonna do an ad, right? But th there won't be anything weird about this ad, right? We're just gonna stick to the points. Ryan, Pond 5 is the farthest thing from weird. Oh. In fact, you can hit all of your visual and audio points in the production you hope to make thanks to the world's best stock media marketplace at Pond 5. Right on. Well, that's that's good, right? I mean, that's not... Well, yeah, because if you need stock media, B-roll. Yes, need... Brian, it is good. <laughs> know what else is good? Photos, vector illustrations, music tracks, sound effects, customizable motion graphics templates, 3D models, and more. And the collection is growing by leaps and bounds every day. See, it's weird because you're just sort of stopping and you're, it's, I mean, and then I continue to talk. Like, it's just weird to me that you would, your pacing's off. Normally it's, are we even talking? What is, what is going on? All the content on Pond5 can be downloaded instantly for legal use and virtually all media production. And there's the best prices anywhere. Uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, are, are we even, are you, Justin, are you a person? What is happening? Pond5 is, is great for developers, designers, film and video makers for all of their audio and visual needs. Developers, use Pond5 for high quality sound effects for games. Designers, use Pond5 so you don't have to build everything from scratch. Film and video makers, use Pond5 HD footage for just the right shot at your fingertips. This month, get free 50, 50 free stock media files if you only go to pond5.com slash NSFW. Brian, that's pond5.com slash NSFW. <laughs> Any final words? Yes, uh, Pond5 are fantastic guys. They're here at South by Southwest. And of course, I love that it's not only for media consumers or creators, but also for the people who get those clips they get uh, some of the best rates in the industry. Pond 5, man. You know what? If you enjoy the fact that they support NSFW, send them a tweet. Pond 5. Let's show them that you guys care. <laughs>
great point, Fry. Pond5.com slash NSMW. Man, I don't know. I think I think Mecca Jury is what's going on. I think I think somebody's been replaced with a robot. That's because well, and that would make sense too, because we're not allowed to Damn, what what if there's a conspiracy theory that it's like maybe Justin's really not still allowed to do the ads. So he's been replaced with the ad bot? Is that is that a thing? Justin, are you there? <laughs> Look like a Johnny Cab from Total Recall 1990 version. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Yeah, Brian. Let's go spank a nun's ass. <laughs> you know, Get on it. Get on it. Spank that nun. Ooh, it's a conclave. It's a conclave. Ain't nothing but a pope pick All right, and that's enough. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. I promised. I promised. Uh, uh, Z oh, I promised zero. Holy water stop, 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 stop. No, tonight. I'm serious. I'm serious. Uh, I, no lie. I promised someone zero out of five Pope hats tonight on uh, on Pope-related humor. Like somebody, like uh, your friend of mine, Bogo, uh, said, asked like, is it safe to watch the show? How much uh, How much Catholic trouble will there be? And I said, zero out of five Pope hats. So we're just gonna, just gonna dial it back. And that's the only thing we're saying. And that's I, right. I apologize for the numb thing. That's right, exactly. Uh, so my name gonna... is Justin Robert okay, Young, stop. and I apologize and for jokes. We're done. Hey, uh, do we want do we want to tip Project a bottle it? I think Brian, it is time that we unbottle a bottle it. Okay, so. This whole thing began when uh, when a, a guy, what do you call a dude who knows how to like make wines? A, a vine, a viner, a veterinarian. Um, I like to call him a a, a, a winer. A, a viner. A winer. Don't be such a viner. <laughs> hey, girls. A don't be such viners. A vinter. People are saying a Leo. <laughs> Uh, dude, <laughs> this is my new character, dismissive German. It's no words. He just, he just, he just gets all tense and flicks his fingers at right you here. like he's getting some. Right, give me, give me, give me full screen. Yeah, this sure is my thing. gif of right. dismissive German. All right, here we go. All right, so you got your face, and he's just sort of pro. Oh, there you go. That's actually good. That'll loop nice. <laughs> That'll loop nicely. I mean, I'm in love with these animated gifts people are There we go. Dismissive you. German. You ever want to just let everybody know that they're full of it? Hit them with a dismissive German. And you'll be like, vine yards, more like nine yards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right. So we met this dismissive German <laughs> who, who so, said, who said, uh, we should, we should make a, uh, <laughs> can, can we only refer to him with a German accent? Yeah, because like, uh, he is. He's German, and he's only been here for days. That's correct. And uh, he uh, came here for one mission and one mission only. He said, uh, I came to your country because I want to put your face on wines. Yes. And uh, we were like, uh, we're, not, we're not big on wines. Yes, but I am from the vine yards, not the nine yards, and I want your face to be on the wines. And we... Uh, and we said, uh, well, I mean, we're not, we don't have a lot of clout in the wine industry. Yeah. Like, and, yes. like, and also, like, I mean, I drink wine fairly regularly now, but like, I'm not, I'm not historically been a big wine drinker. Brian, like, I know you're not a big wine guy. Like, even when you're more not of a beer drinking guy. beer, more of a beer guy, sure. Yeah. Like, uh, you're more of like a hard liquor guy, even when you're not drinking beer, you know, or uh, free basing. Uh, sometimes uh, a little also, bit. Also, I mean, I've heard you also like to chop up and snort rails of ketamine. Yes, yes. In front of your children. Like, also, it doesn't work for you unless you call your girls. Children's in. cough syrup is awesome to intravenously inject. Well, uh, I mean, let's intravenously is, is also a kind way of saying. Uh, <laughs> in the. <laughs> Well, no, I'm, Brian, I'm, listen, I'm trying to keep it radio safe here. Oh, okay, so we can talk about intravenous cough syrup, but, but if you say, if you drop the B, then all of a sudden we're yeah, in trouble. But also, I think it's, it's better when everybody understands the sound it makes when it uh, when it enters. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah, as we all know, I'm a big fan. Actually, Brian, uh, there's there's a Dr. Neil Gayman here to describe how you like your children's cough syrup. Oh, yeah? Let's, let's go to him now. All right. Yeah, it's me, Dr. Neil Gaiman, <laughs> to tell you how Brian likes his cough syrup. He likes it 
In the box. Oh, see, now you just you drop the B. You That's drop the, the B. Neil B. Gay you get out. You can't you can't drop the B. We gotta be radio safe. You can't drop the B. Listen. Uh, uh it was Dr. Neil Gay man there. That <laughs> was, was doctor you were talking about. The medical term. All right. So here's the deal. There was a guy um, who uh, is a fan of Twit yep. and has a history. Basically, I mean, we I think we can say like, He's the, cool guy, guy. The, the guy who made Adam Carolla's Mangria a thing right. has now realized that, like, hey, look, like, I listened to a bunch of podcasts. Right. Uh, I made a bunch of, uh, you know, like, it was really successful to do this with Adam Carolla because right. that was very much in Adam Carolla's brand was like, hey – like blue collar kind of wine thing. He's a wine drinker. He wanted to make something that was really awesome. And he turns out he really likes NSFW show. Yes, he so does. He comes to us and says, or, or Brian and says, Hey, I'd like to make you a wine. And initially it was like for scam school. Right. Well, and, and then, but it was like, well, I don't know, like maybe more of an NSFW thing. And and plus we had already been talking about uh, brewing beers with, with tall beer dude. Who's a friend of the show who makes amazing yeah. beers. We definitely like, if we're going to stick our face on something, we didn't want to just cash in on a wine, but then, um, uh, you know, he starts telling us about the mixes he has and the chemicals that he's able to put stuff together. Like they make cocktails, uh, wine cocktails that are amazing and consistent in flavor. Um, basically it, it's, it's awesome. Right. Uh, pretty much anything you could imagine he puts in. So I'm not there, but he invites Justin, says, hey, yeah. why don't you come over to our labs and uh, let me mix up some different options for you. And among the different things he puts together, as he's brewing it, he says, uh, oh yeah, well, well, wine cocktails like this were really popular right before Prohibition. And, yeah. and Justin, just a little, just file that away. And then goes on, keeps on going. And then he says, well, there's this mix, there's that mix. You put in two of these and you got this. And then he hands you like, well, this is a red wine and honey uh, based uh, or uh, honey, brandy. honey brandy mix, right? Yeah. And um, uh, he said, this was really popular uh, in the Roman Empire. And then Justin goes, yeah, yeah. And this is the moment when the germ of an idea hatched in our minds, when all of a sudden it stopped being about, do Brian and Justin want to be the Ben and Jerry's of wine? And well, became... because yeah, that's something that, like, would have been cool, like, in, like, the, like, cool kind of thing to be, like, the Brian Derbs wine. Right. Buy it now. Sure. Like, and, 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 and enough of you guys would have, would have bought it and we would have been really happy, but... Instead, we smelled the next Diamond Club opportunity. Yes. So basically, folks, it breaks down like this. Like the Diamond Club, we had a basic idea and a delivery method. The, we're going to make a book, and we're going to give you the basic plot of the book, and then we want the hive mind of the chat realm to take it wherever you want to go, and, and we will uh, try to work with it as, as best we can to kind of pick the best of the ideas, and we will eventually make something awesome. Uh, the idea that we have for our wine is the wine that ends the world. Okay. Because. <laughs> well, and, and so here's the thing, is because we do know that, that wine cocktails were popular right before Prohibition, and we yeah. do know that, that, that honey wine mixtures were popular in the Roman Empire, which, by the way, downfalled. Uh, yeah. They, that's a real word. And so the idea is, why don't we tell the story? Because what, what sells products are ideas. And unlike the Diamond Club, where some people bought it and walked away very disappointed, this has the potential, if we make up a story and crowd, hive mind, infest our story in a million different places, this could be a fantastic product that people actually like, that they believe is uh, dangerous, that is associated with society's crumbling because it's so addictive. We could, we could pervert. And the best part is uh, like, like all of this happens and it could continue to live on. And like the diamond club, we don't have to feel guilty or nothing. Cause this is what all the other marketing assholes do out there. This, yes. The only thing we're doing is doing it in public with you guys. So this is, this is our idea. What do you think? So yeah. Yeah, the idea basically is that whenever this blend of wine has become popular, if you track it back in history, societies have been radically changed for the worse or crumbled completely. Yes. And that right now, it is experiencing a surge in popularity. And if you drink it and you try it, 
you are leading us down the path to nothing less than the fall of the American empire. Exactly. And so, so that's what, and, and so we were, st we were talking about it. Like, okay. So the things we have to write and we love, we know that that chat realm loves the creative space. We love, uh, you know, first of all, we could Photoshop it in all these old things, but it's gotta be super realistic looking uh, or, or, or find old documents, maybe Photoshop like old um, newspaper clippings that, that say specific things like honey wine tinged with anise or something or <laughs> 1776 murder wine, murder wine, purse. <laughs> But uh, but then we 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 also then we got the creative space of the what what we're gonna call this thing and what the label would look like. Yeah. So so here's what we need. Right now we need a title. Yep. That's the that's that's the big that that's a big thing. And then also, uh, Brian has brought up something initially that I think uh, this would be great to open up to chat realm right now. Is that part of the fun of a drink is how you drink it, how it is supposed to be drank. When we can completely invent the ways, the, the way in which we are asking people or we are saying has been the popular way. Some kind drink. of ritual. This Not is the thing. butt chug, <clears throat> Black Panda. We're cutting out butt chugging. That's what Brian does to children's cough syrup. That's right. No, but like like some kind of ritual, like like maybe what you do is you pour it in a wine glass and you take a lighter and you and you you mix it around for for uh for a, an eight count or whatever or like long enough for you to mention the eight societies that have downfall during it or something like that and then that's the right temperature to to drink it or something i mean i'll tell you what i kind of feel like there's there's a bunch of no not mix it with cough syrup no tampons come on guys let's uh, be serious i like <laughs> spring rubber injected into the penis or vagina <laughs> And what's funny is I'm like, guys, be serious. I'm trying to pull a prank on the wine industry that'll also make me and Justin rich. Do you guys mind? Uh, so what about the wine you shoot? <laughs> what do you mean shoot? Like you shoot it. It's, it's a shot glass <laughs> wine. Do you know how offensive that is to the wine world? That's Dude, a, this a, ain't a wine. This is death juice. This is, this is a wine cocktail. <laughs> that, uh, man, wow, man. That's... Dude, the KGB 434, it's the Jägermeister of wine. <laughs> I'm okay. Oh, we should point out, we should point out that, um, we uh, uh, we tasted a mix that we liked very very much, and it was it had uh, it was a red wine base had, had uh, mixed with honey uh, brandy. Um, it had hints of anise, and uh, I mean I want to say like a, a like a drop of cinnamon in there or something. What was it? I don't I don't know I don't. Remember. It was amazing. It, it tasted good. It, was. it tasted like, really good, and it has what was it nineteen or eighteen? That's the other thing. It's was like that almost alcohol by it's volume? almost twenty percent alcohol by volume. It's um it's it's uh the mind eraser. <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, dude. It's uh which by the way people clearly like the fact that it's almost twenty. People already love it. They already want it. <laughs> So we got to think no, of you're seeing, by the way, I think as often happens with, with me and Brian and chat room, we have vastly under, uh, <laughs> underappreciated how interesting just a basic me and you wine is. Cause like, as soon as we're like wine, I just see like 50 bottles. Uh, take my money. Shut up. Stop talking. <laughs> But this would be even better because here's what I think could happen is is you could do you could host your own wine tasting parties basically like a um uh, like a Tupperware party and just as people got a kick going around telling their friend oh you like the fifty shades great if you tried uh if you try if you tried the Diamond Club it's amazing this is like like oh drinking wine you see have you uh have you tried should, should I drop the name that I'm a fan of Yes. No, go ahead. Okay. So I was thinking like downfall could be the name of the wine, but then I thought maybe we That's should- That's almost too on the nose because it's like, it's not, it's not like, it has to be a thing that causes the downfall. Exactly. So, so, uh, but, you know, we had talked about how honey wine was popular in the Roman empire. So then I, uh, I typed in, you know, what's the Latin translation of downfall and it's ruinum, R-U-I-N-A-M. So it's pronounced, uh, you pronounce it ruinum, but, but it has the word ruin in it right, right. and it implies- something da uh, dangerous to it. By so, the way, Tensor Guy says, 20%, that's no wine. And I add, it's a space station. <laughs> 
Uh, it's a wine cocktail, and it's amazing. Uh, uh, so oh, people man. are saying that, that we should go back farther, that we should go to Sumerian. Oh, dude, if we can find some kind of evidence of it or in there. But, uh, okay, so Downfall is your brand. Ruin them is, can be the name they're saying in the chat room. People are saying, uh, I don't know. So this is the first, is this the first time you guys are hearing about this? All right, hold on. Let me, let me turn on your mic so you guys can chat. All right, get on up here. Vincent 404, get on close. Okay. Uh, all right, so so as a, as a, our designated member of chat realm who's here, what, what, what do you think so far? What do you got? Uh, definitely insane. Um, I've. I have kind of a weird way that I could kind of promote this if I lie to my brother. <laughs> See, this is this is exactly because well, my brother is a sommelier and actually works at a cheese shop and is trying to get into the wine industry. This is the story, man. If I, if I just so we want to him. taint his reputation before <laughs> he can make one for himself. Exactly. If I really wanted to screw my brother, or at least well, and, and and there's certain phrases you're like, well, the story <laughs> is <laughs> okay. Go on. Hold yeah. on. Wait a minute. What? Uh, and it just a perfect name for this comment. Ignorant science says whoever said that it was the thing that killed the dinosaurs is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever said that, I don't know who said that, but I think the idea that it was really this that killed the dinosaurs is amazing. Man, this is a bad wine. This is a bad wine. I don't recommend Dude, anyone do John it. John Wilkes Booth was drunk on it. <laughs> This is well, and here's the best part is I'll bet there's are enough references that are close enough. All right, what do you no, got? You're freaking out. Dude, what? What if we make our own loose change? <laughs> it's like it's got like the Fight Club soundtrack, oh, like Bedero. Uh, was it? You know, 1776. Pierce Morgan is totally killing America. <laughs> but then only dude. one warrior drunk on honey wine by the name it's of just Ruben. Like like, boom, like, but what was he drunk on? Like, historic documents say <laughs> that it was a blank mixed with blank. Dude, this is amazing. Uh, oh, this is, they're saying, like, guys, don't make it American-centric. Other, you know, other cultures died, too. And, exactly. Because No, no, no. The point is this. The undercurrent is this. It has killed every culture it's become popular in. Yes. So, so The ones the that have avoided it have, have survived. America has survived, but with the exception of prohibition, until now. Now it is popular again. Everyone knows that fire can't melt steel. That's a fact. But we also know that honey wine can melt your heart. Burn them. Murder oh, pills. Not, oh, all right. I was going to say something, but it's really offensive. Okay, good. I'm Same glad you shut up. Uh, listen, so, so here's the thing. Uh, we also need to figure out some of the weasel phrasing that we can offer. Because it's like... We don't want to be defrauding people, but we want to do that that magician's trick of like, uh, you're like, as you get your friends around, you're like, I got this wine. Um, it is really something special. Uh, let me tell you the legends I've heard about this wine. And then you tell the stories that we've told about it, right? Or you're like, the story is that the way you do it, you have to warm it. Uh, I don't know about it in the shot, maybe in a shot glass. I, I like the idea of, of taking a flame and holding it long enough to say the names of, of eight civilizations Dude. that well, have been destroyed. One, I mean, but like, like what we want to do is preserve the thing that was done forever, you know? Yes. So it's like they weren't counting all the fallen civilizations when they were doing it back in Roman times. It doesn't, well, it doesn't matter if it's an invented ritual. Like, like just say, just say, we were supposed to hold it for, uh, for, uh, you know, 12 seconds, which is just long enough to say the name of the civilizations that have gone down. And so you got I mean, eight words or whatever. Maybe it is. Maybe it's like a flaming Dr. Pepper. Like you light it. Can you light? I don't what, think does it no, light on you can't, fire? You can't. You can't light it on fire. It won't be enough. Uh, by the way, they're already correcting me in the chat room. They're like, uh, history of Runum goes back over two hundred years. So apparently, that's uh, that's true. What is uh, NSFW wait. Sanguinum Balneum? <laughs> I don't know if that's a name or for real, the bubonic wine. You want you want to associate it with the plague? <laughs> I'll tell you what though, like maybe it was idea. The, the the whoever let out the, the the diseased herd. What was he drunk on? So wait, uh, I'm just asking questions, Brian. <laughs> what was he drunk on? So okay, right before prohibition. Wait, which would be better to associate it with? No, no, no. Okay, so you have to associate it with right before prohibition because prohibition is what caused hard alcohol to become more popular because you can move yes. more of it. Yes. Okay. So it's associated with prohibition. It's associated with, um, do you know who we should talk to about this? Uh, do you, do you ever listen to the hardcore history podcast? I, I think, listen, the, the quest again, 
like the Diamond Club, this is going to be a multi-episode bit. We are going to build up to this, and then eventually, uh, I don't know if we're going to hit our target of April 1st for, for, for launch. For pre-sale. Oh, I, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but it's going to be sooner rather than later, and we need to get our ducks in a row uh, to figure out exactly what this thing is. What about the folks who uh, who were who were sitting around in Europe with their thumbs up their butt while the the cons came in and invaded them? I mean, all right. So here's here's what we need. This is where chat room comes in. We need a Google Doc. Yes. We need people to people enter to like in their idea, stories <laughs> and why the wine ruined life. Uh, right. Uh, okay. High perf underscore says, is it good wine at least? Now remember, the nice thing about a, a wine cocktail is that by blending things, it makes it good. That's why people are able to stomach a Long Island iced tea instead of just drinking shots of rum and vodka and all this stuff. It does taste good. And Justin and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And we liked, we we were looking for something that had a, a kind of robust, uh, mysterious kind of flavor. Something where you would spend a little bit of time like, what is that? But but still, it tasted good while you were doing it. Because if we if we could sell this backstory of it being dangerous, it would be amazing. Uh, I do just like it being very blue collar. Like it is like it just it, it's like it's like the, uh, the the stuff that they're drinking in the Matrix when it's like yeah, it's good at degreasing engines and it gets you totally effed up. Yes, like, yes, yes. Like that's what it is. And like it, I, I will say to you, it tastes good because it does. Yes, but. but Yes. Like, but that's not how we sell it. We don't sell it like it tastes good. And it's like the sweet temptation that leads us down the wrong path. It's like, no, 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 no. When people are drinking this, this whole, this whole party's going down. Ruins societies and bring it all down. Uh, okay. So I guess the big question is I, I, people seem to like ruin them as the name. Are you, are we all down for that? You want, you want to declare that? Uh, energy like drink wine, room, get some more, get some more ideas. Uh, Let's Impound in there, but I <laughs> add dragon destruction <laughs> ruin M <laughs> sounds too redneck. Uh, Spoonium Blackwater. <laughs> I mean, YOLO. Oh my god, dude, can we call it Blackwater? No, because that means that. Oh wow, I almost cursed. Uh, that's that's the that's the S word that you pump out of your camper is black water. You got gray water and black water. I mean, that almost says everything that we need to say about it, though. Black. I mean, I like, don't, that's yeah. something. That's something that you can get the Roman translation of, like. I mean, play and okay, it, and it's right in. I our want. Wheelhouse. I want it to be Latin, whatever it is. I yes, yeah, sewage. That's the word. Thank you, Arbiter. That's what I was looking for. Uh, yeah. I mean, what would the what would the Latin word? For oh look at this we already have mock-ups on this business check that out there's a little room in them in your face <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the dinosaur dying in the middle of an apocalypse this is gonna be the best wine ever. Because <laughs> uh, also the other thing is that like I know for me like I pay attention to like if there's like a clever like label or something like that like I'll I'll buy it and like I don't know if I totally get like ruin them right out of there. I don't know but, if I okay. totally get black but, but if it, if, Okay, but I mean, let me, I'm not the, trying to defend it so much, but like, like ruin them and you see like, like, like I'll tell you what, you guys, you guys work out some, right now you got I three. I know be gone. <laughs> you, you got three. <laughs> what? No, we're not going to call it N-word. <laughs> that's, even though you spelled out N-word, that's a terrible thing. Because like, I think like, like, like what we want is that like this thing has been called a million different things by a million different cultures, right? Right. right. So like, we need something that it's called now. Like maybe it was called Ruinum in 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 ancient Rome, right? But like, was it called Ruinum in Westerville, Ohio? No, 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 no. no. Dude it drank it and puked the on the dude's shoes yeah. and caused prohibition. Um. Yes. Uh. This is awesome. People are jumping to get me a towel because I definitely spilled all over my. All over my keyboard. Like that's ever happened 12 times on this show. Uh, mother's vomits in, in what is that in? Uh, oh, man. I don't know. Okay, I'll tell you what. You guys take a moment and and argue among yourselves. Go ahead and throw up a a, a, a straw poll. See what you guys like. But in the meantime, we've got to talk about the other folks who makes this show possible. Uh, Justin Robert Young. Is, it, do, uh, is there anyone who wants to share with us? who are fabulous 
Sponsors are. He I says. don't. I don't have that. We have anymore. Oh, is that is that the only one? Do we only have one sponsor today? Yeah. All right, well, then forget it. Uh, this is brought to you by Shenanigans, Inc. That's right. Your place in mind for an awesome way to cause up trouble. Uh, thank you very much. Why don't we do a greatest hits of all our past sponsors? <laughs> do you know sure. Who's, you know what's great is uh, good old Net Square Flicks Route, Ponds. Uh, mail. Uh, Ibble, odd. St man hint. Packs. Oh, man packs, yeah. Don't forget man packs. You get your man pack yet? No, I needed to pick it. I'm a terrible person. And I got I, mine yesterday, and I'll save the rest of what I have to say for when someone's paying for it. All right. I bet you're excited. Thank you very much to Nutspace and to, um, <laughs> to Satan's Toast. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like Satan's Toast as a name for the wine. Uh, I kind of like, I mean, oh man, Satan's Toast. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will buy Satan's Toast. There's a, there's a difference between feeling naughty and embracing, you know, making a moral decision to embrace the Prince of Darkness. Uh, is it panda-save.com? Which, by the way, panda-save.com. Thank you to them for sponsoring South by So Wasted too. <laughs> a last-minute endorsement by panda-save or panda-save.com. This is Penelope, which you heard that uh, we were making her the sponsor. She uh, immediately got on and added a whole second blog post. So like, hey guys, thanks for all the attention. Uh, pandas are really cool, right? <laughs> Vomitorium vino, Pielsa brew. Devil's scrotum sweat. <laughs> Tostada del Diablo. What about Tenacious V? <laughs> Favila is ashes in Latin. That's not bad. Um, Satost, blood in my vines. Beelzy Buzz, Vomitorium Vino from panda-save.com. Chateau uh, Gamora. <laughs> Douche juice. Are you not, you're not down with douche juice? No. <laughs> Global warming. <laughs> Panda, Panda blood. blood. <laughs> if women ran the military complex, would the missiles be shaped differently? Which is a bit long for the name of a wine, I think. <laughs> Ilmunculus. End well. <laughs> Ozone holes. Bumbo clot wine. <laughs> Daphne. Uh, global warming is good. Vino Rufi, Obamacare. <laughs> 1776 murder wine. By the way, I just want to say that your friend and mine, Tom Merritt, has already emailed us a uh, backstory for our wine. Oh, dude. So apparently we've got a fan. This is a great idea, Justin. I mean, everyone seems to think it's going to be awesome. And it's going to be one of those gifts that keeps on giving. No, um, listen. And people are saying, like, all these names we will use. Because in every era... It was called something different. Yes, we need we need a doc where uh, everybody puts in their ideas and you guys vote up, vote down which ones you like or don't like. And uh, <laughs> oh wait, what what do you got? <laughs> if we were doing just an NSFW one, it would have to be pretend I'm not beer. <laughs> <laughs> Who had that one? That was different. I'm sorry, we can't technically, uh, it's just call it uh, uh, a confidence boost juice. It would just be, it would just be Iris Hockman and it would just be pretend I'm not beer. <laughs> that would be pretty amazing, dude. Well, who knows, down the road. Uh, actually, you know what, down the road, we should have a beer. Like, okay, this will be our first foray, foray, right? If we can make up this idea and get it to a level of success that we did with the Diamond Club, then... Like, these guys have already said that they want to expand into beers. And we've got a guy who makes amazing beers. We're talking about... Oh, like, yeah, by the way, did we ever connect Tall Beer Guy with, nope. like, a person who was, like, offering him a job? We only <laughs> promised to, and then we never got around to doing it. And I said... Whoopsie uh, noodle. Yeah, sorry. Hey, Tall Beer Guy, talk to our guy, or rather, we'll email you. Yes, exactly. Uh, the Grapes of Ass. <laughs> I was going to say Grapes of Ash. <laughs> that might be better. Bob Vila. Uh, okay, hold on. Oh, from, we have something from, from Tom Merritt here. Details on Runem. What is, what is this? Community uh, audio. That's what he just emailed us. Oh my God. Did he already make 
An ad, yes. Okay. What is going on? The Elamites introduced it to Sumeria's Ibi Sin, and it led to the sack of Ur. A gift to the Roman Emperor from Alari of the Visigoths led to the sack of Rome. Mamai Khan supplanted vodka in Moscow with it in 1382 before Moscow fell. Why didn't the Maginot line hold? You guessed it. Prohibition couldn't stop it. Why should you try? Ruin them from the robust vineyards of Young and Brushwood. <laughs> Get sacked. This may be... Get sacked! <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, that's pretty amazing. I think, listen... That's ruin pretty. Em. It's there. Yes. It's there. Ruin right. them's there. It's called ruin them. Get sacked. Uh, AM or or UM? We could go either way. I would say, what's that? I'd say UM. You say UM? UM sounds way more Latin. Ruin them. Well, I mean, so, but then it sounds like ruin them. Uh, ruin them. But if it's AM. Oh, EM. No, it's EM. Okay, yeah. Just ruin you guys them. vote on this stuff. This is all your department here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow, man. No, no. Ruin M sounds like a gag. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Ru ruin them. I'll tell you what, man. We already have the standees. People are just saying ruin. Yeah, that just said, that seems, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to, we might tweak it. Let's you guys, you guys could. I'll tell you what, though. We already definitely have the uh, the standees ready to go to for, for <laughs> liquor stores across the globe. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, dude. Uh, look, this is a great idea, man. Uh, how uh, do you need? Do you need? You have a hard out, right? We have to. We have to do a shorter uh, show. Yeah, this no, time. we gotta. I, I gotta be out in the next half hour, just on the way. Down uh, okay, I got. I got a couple of things that I gotta give a huge thank yous for, uh, because a couple of people brought me gifts. Uh, when I hooked up with uh, DJ Z Lonely Dot Geek, who at this very moment is doing an edited version of our Big Lebowski oh, scene, so that I can already play and post it as soon as you head out, Justin. We also uh, he came over a month ago and gave me a vasectomy kit uh, in honor of my new arrival. The vasectomy kit, of course, consisting of a bottle of vodka, which is strangely gone now, and a pair of scissors and instructions that he had uh, written in, <laughs> that originally came in Cyrillic, um, but that he also translated through Google Translation to uh, instructions for, for vasectomy. It was amazing. Uh, we'll, we'll take time, but we'll read that later on. Uh, also, I want to give major, major, like, like on my knees bowing to the amazing powers of Patrick De La Hanty, who showed up on my doorstep at South by So Wasted with a copy of Schwoodopoly, an entire version of uh, Monopoly that had been like every inside joke we've ever made being in here. Uh, if you look at the, uh, uh, here he's opening it up right now. <laughs> I'll just show you something, like all the properties are, um, are uh, stuff that we know like Frog Pants and Twit and Revision 3 and, of course, his own site, Adequate.com. But uh, but he put on here, look at this. He put on, here, I'm actually going to I'm gonna steal this right here. There right, we go. All here. Uh, it, like all the cards to say, like, you've won second prize in a beauty contest. It's like there's me as number two and there's Justin as number one. There's a uh, 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 pay hospital one hundred dollars for. There's Bonnie the Invisible Wife and a baby. That's and, amazing. Uh, and Penny and Josie, uh, fake book is a bestseller. Collect one hundred dollars. Uh, fly to go. Um, from sale of book you get forty five dollars. It's the scam school book. Uh, let's see. Pay for studio upgrades. You have to. You have to pay a bunch of money. Uh, it's amazing, dude. It's uh. uh I'm trying to see. If, Let's see. Yeah, stuff like you, you appear on the Tonight Show, collect hundred dollars, get out of jail free with a little spiky hair. Uh, anyway, I just want to, I just want to give a huge thanks to uh, the folks who made that happen. It meant the world to me. It was completely amazing. References to Max Trollbot and everything that we've put together in this weird little universe that we uh, that we've created, man. Uh, dude, uh, Patrick Delhani is amazing. Thank you again to everybody who came out to uh, South by Southwest and South by South Wasted in particular. Like the the kindness overwhelms. I know me and Brian whenever we get in those situations, and it really kind of puts you into puts it into perspective, like how awesome the community is that has sprung up around uh, the nonsense that comes out of me and Brian's mouth when we you know fart around on the internet. Yeah. Plus, also, what do you think about this for a poster image for Runa? <laughs> Dude, and people were like, "Oh, there's a beer called the Fin du Monde. That's like the end of the world." Yeah, man, that's just marketing. This is the real deal. 
<laughs> See, that's the difference, man. So look, uh, if you want to make something happen, what, wait, like, what, 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 what? Oh, wait, what is happening? All right, there we go. Now I got it. I was actually, I was actu accidentally doing that. That was, you're right. That is all marketing. This is the real thing. Uh, this one actually ended civilizations, and it's yeah. going to end this one if it gets popular. Whatever anybody does, don't let this mysterious, amazing drink get popular, or else the end of America is surely here. I mean, it's certainly, you know, we got science. I bet there'll be Wikipedia little hints, just saying. I don't know. I don't know if anywhere in the follow the Roman Empire mentions honey wine, but it just seems like that's a relevant detail. Someone, somewhere. So yeah, well, more to come with this. We'll have a pre-sale soon. Uh, otherwise, uh, just something to note, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on Thursday, me and Tom Merritt, the man who did the awesome ad already for this, uh, we'll launch our Kickstarter for FSL tonight, uh, the new season. All, a bunch of awesome perks. More details on that next week uh, when who um, knows where it'll be by the time next Tuesday rolls around. But follow me at Justin R. Young on Twitter for all the deets. Yeah, man. Oh, dude, look at that. He's already missing. Mad Dragon's gone. Nobody knows where he is. We hardly knew ye, Mad Dragon. Get lost, you jerk. See you next Tuesday. Dynamite. NSF, W.